Good evening, folks. As promised, we're going to answer our trivia question from this morning and pick up where the Weather Channel's video left off on solar storms. First, I challenge you to find their two mistakes, and the first one is seen here, the title. A strong storm was not getting underway, and indeed no geomagnetic storm, even at low level, occurred. There was indeed such a prediction from the experts, and we did agree, but provided that the coronal hole stream would be strong, as forecast, and would impact before the CME, creating that double impact scenario, the one that can trigger those stronger storms. Indeed, the solar wind clearly showed only one impact, and it was moderately strong at best. And the other mistake occurred within the video, when they claimed that the experts said a solar flare was possible to impact Thursday and cause auroras to light up at lower latitudes than normal. In fact, the flare days before is what released the coronal mass ejection, the CME, and that is what was due to impact, and did impact, a key terminology bit there. The flare is the X-ray event within the sunspots, it's what releases the cloud of plasma, the cloud of plasma is the CME, and that is what impacts a few days later and creates the auroras. Now, back to where they left off in the video. They literally say that the sun's centennial power flare would be utterly catastrophic, and then the video ends. Well, what do they mean? Do they mean something like the movie Knowing, where the earth is scorched? No. Do they mean that radioactive particles would rain down on us and give everyone cancer? No. They are discussing a geomagnetically induced destruction of our electrified way of life. NASA says the damage would easily outdo any previous natural disaster on record and would be measured in the trillions. And that's before you consider that Earth's magnetic field is weakening. We expect these types of impacts every century or so, and we're more than 150 years since the last one. The blast, or series of blasts, arrives as electromagnetic shock waves. They couple with Earth's magnetic field. This extra energy induces current through the atmosphere and the ground, and even down into the mantle. There have been numerous satellites lost, grids taken down, transformers destroyed from this induced current, and that is with the normal flaring and CME activity over the 11-year cycle of the sun. Everyone in this field knows that if the sun rocks and rolls, it's no more power for us, no heat, no air conditioning, no refrigeration, no ATM, no gas pump, no stores, no police, no 911, no water from the tap, and it's everywhere. When everywhere needs emergency assistance, there is no way to rebuild. Most know that is all before the weakening magnetic field of Earth is considered. With the confirmation of another acceleration in the field loss, we are now only a few decades at most from major planetary chaos. If the sun throws a curveball our way before that, it won't even need to be the big centennial blast. One day life is normal, the next you're somewhere between the Stone Age, Iron Age, and Bronze Age. This is a guarantee on this planet, regularly. It's just that we haven't had electricity to lose before. The last, in 1859, destroyed telegraph wires, but there wasn't much else to destroy. We are about to get tested by the sun and the earth. Maybe it's this solar cycle, maybe it's in a couple of decades when the field collapses. Either way, I hope you are preparing. I hope you are watching like we are. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.